Manny Machado is a name you may know, most likely for his emergence as a baby-faced talent in Major League Baseball and subsequent recognition as one of the league's best ever defenders. But we bet you don't know about his absolutely stunning wife or that he almost didn't sign for the Orioles in the 2010 draft. There are many things you don't know about this powerhouse shortstop, so sit back and enjoy this video as we walk you through his MLB lifestyle and his gorgeous wife. Manny Machado was the third overall pick in the 2010 MLB draft. That's pick one, pick two, and pick Manny. You'd be forgiven for thinking his birth name is Manny, but it's actually a shortened form of his birth name. He was born July 6, 1992 in Miami, Florida, and named Manuel Arturo Machado. Raised by his mother, Rosa Machado, his grandfather, Francisco Nunez, and his uncle, Giovanni Brito in the Hialeah region of Miami. Manny was brought up in a rather large family, be it by blood or not. One of the most notable members of that family is a lifelong friend and fellow MLB star, Albert Almoro. The former Cincinnati Reds outfielder and Manny consider each other as cousins, having grown up together in this struggling life back in Hialeah. Working out together, watching, and playing baseball together, and even one-on-one -on -one football. How far they have both come to be MLB All-Stars. Have you ever been to the Dominican Republic? Manny is of Dominican heritage, and although his father, Manuel Machado Sr., was absent from his childhood, he had his uncle and grandpa to care for him and his younger sister, Yasmin Nunez, and helped Manny cultivate his love for baseball from a young age, while his mother, was the breadwinner. He grew up supporting his hometown NLB team, the Miami Marlins, and had his high school education at Brito Miami Private School in Miami. Your guess is right if you think he was a star from then. Machado hit .639 as a high schooler senior with 56 RBI and 12 homers in 86 AB, 44 of his 55 hits going for extra bases. He topped it by giving the USA its first ever goal in the Junior Pan American Games in the 2009 edition, where he hit two home runs. Up next for him was getting drafted or going for college baseball. Come the 2010 MLB draft, Manny was the overall third pick drafted by the Baltimore Orioles, but he almost didn't sign for them. Why? Manny had committed to play collegiately at Florida International University, according to his grandpa's wishes, so he was going to pass on the Orioles' offer that was worth $5.25 million. Thanks to his agent, Scott Boras, he eventually signed the deal only minutes before the signing deadline, and both Manny and the Orioles remain grateful that he did. After signing, Manny played for many minor leagues before he eventually had his MLB debut and he was phenomenal in all his spells. He first played for the Gulf Coast League Orioles in the Loe Aberdeen Ironbirds, where he played as a shortstop, after which he moved to the Delmarva Shorebirds in the South Atlantic League, where he earned a place in the SAL All-Star Game and a promotion to the High A Frederick Keys. After minor league success at age 20, El Mistro de la Defensa made his MLB debut for the Baltimore Orioles on August 9, 2012, hitting two home runs in his second game, making him the 12th youngest player in history to hit more than one home run in a game. By the 2013 season, Fangraph rated him as the best third baseman in the entire league, talking about hitting the ground up and running. Despite the couple of injuries in 2013 and undergoing surgery, he won the Gold Glove Award that season and made his first MLB All-Star appearance. In his 2014 season, Manny overstepped when he lost control of his emotions and threw his bat at A's reliever Fernando Abid for throwing at him in a game against the Oakland Athletics. Lucky him, he got what many viewed as a lenient punishment of just a five-match suspension. Since then, he's gone on to make the All-MLB first team in 2020, five more All-Star appearances, and has won the Silver Slugger Award and his second Gold Glove Award. After six seasons with the Orioles, he was traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2018, helping the team reach the World Series before signing a 10-year, $300 million deal with the San Diego Padres in 2019, a deal that was the largest in North American sports history at the time. So now we know he's got money, not just dough, 
but money. Manny has been likened to his hero, Alex Rodriguez, who's the number 13 jersey number he emulates. And Orioles Hall of Famer Jim Palmer was the world's highest paid athlete in June 2019, according to Forbes. Other than his lucrative contract, he earns about $500,000 annually from his endorsements and sponsorships with Callaway, Budweiser, Petco, Pandora, Alienware, McDonald's, Essentia Water, and more notably, Nike and Rawlings. All this rounds up his net worth to an estimated $50 million, which is still growing thanks to his contract. We all need to get a bat and a face cap too, so we can make this money, don't you think? Manny's a huge man, standing at 6 foot 3 and weighing 98 kilograms, so what do you expect he spends this money on? Of course, he's got a house fitting his size. More of a mansion though. Manny had one house in Coral Gables, Florida, where he spent his off-season, which he acquired for $7 million in 2020 and sold in 2022 for $15.5 million. However, his main abode is his exquisite mansion in California. Manny acquired this mansion in Coronado, California worth $10 million, and the house is all you expect and more. Covering 7,300 square feet, his home boasts 11 bathrooms and 8 bedrooms four in the main house and the other four split around the other structures on the ground. A Las Vegas-like casino-style expanse, Manny's home has floor-to-ceiling windows looking out to beautiful gardens with sliding doors, massive living area, a calming fireplace setting, gourmet kitchen with polished wood and granite cabinetry and countertops, a music room, game room with a luxurious snooker table centerpiece, and a large master suite with views of the San Diego skyline. The exterior of Manny's home is as beautiful with pretty buttermilk yellow painting, arched gambrel rooftops, lush gardens, tropical landscape courtyards, a curved infinity pool, and a multi-car garage. Five-star garage needs five-star cars, and Manny's car collection isn't anything less. He has the very best of Rolls-Royce, Nissan's Mercedes-Benz, and a Bentley Continental GT. On signing his first contract, he also got his mother a Cadillac Escalade and his younger sister her dream Range Rover. What a man, me. Just in case you're wondering, we'll get ahead of you and answer that question for you. No, Manny doesn't live in that massive mansion on his own. He lives with his stunningly hot wife, Yanny Alonzo. Ever heard of Yonder Alonzo? He's a former Cincinnati Reds player in the MLB and also Manny's best friend since the early days of his career. Yep, Yanny is his younger sister. Perfect example of from friends to family. This stunning beauty was born on November 24th, 1990 in Cuba, where she spent her early years before the family moved to the U.S. in 1996. She's a psychology graduate from the University of Miami and was once a cheerleader for the Miami Hurricanes. Trust Manny to be a player both on and off the diamond, making his moves subtly from his early days in pro baseball by visiting Yonder as a friend while using the avenue to get to know Yaney, who was already as beautiful as ever. He eventually made his intentions known to Yonder, who gave him his blessing. And of course, Yeni fell for El Ministro de la Defensa. The couple dated for two years before getting engaged in February 2013 and marrying in November 2014 in a beautiful setting with their friends turned family from their time in Miami's slums. And he even got a large tattoo of his wife's portrait on his arm in 2016. This will make quite the rom-com movie if you ask us. The couple welcomed their son in 2015 and are also known to be dog lovers with their two well-cared-for dogs featuring in a lot of their social media posts. One of their dogs is named Kobe, after Manny's childhood idol and basketball legend Kobe Bryant. When he was traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers, the jersey, number 13, he was always worn, wasn't available. So he chose the number 8 jersey just because that was Kobe's number at a time in his Lakers career. Chato played basketball growing up alongside his main passion, baseball, and until date, he still plays a lot of basketball video games. He's also a fan of FIFA soccer video games and watches club soccer quite closely, getting a signed jersey from Paris Saint-Germain and Brazil's star Neymar. He calls Neymar's teammate and seven-time Ballon d'Or winner Lionel Messi his favorite soccer player. If you enjoyed this video about Manny Machado's lifestyle and his gorgeous wife, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there.